Good evening, children. Well, tonight I'm going to read you a book called One Tiny Turtle by Nicola Davies and Jane Chapman. <clears throat> now, this is a story all about turtles and sea turtles, to be specific. Sea turtles are related to tortoises and terrapins. They are all reptiles. Sea turtles are great wanderers traveling thousands of miles each year, often far from land. This makes them difficult to study, so scientists are only just beginning to find out about their mysterious lives. There are seven species of sea turtle, that means there's seven different types, and this book is about the loggerhead turtle. Loggerheads live in seas all over the world. Far, far out to sea, land is only a memory, and empty sky touches the water. Just beneath the surface is a tangle of weed and driftwood where tiny creatures cling. This is the nursery of a sea turtle. Passing in a boat, you might not notice turtle, not much bigger than bottle top. She hides in the green shadows. She's a baby, so her shell is soft as old leather. Just a little fish bite could rip it open. But Turtle is safe in her world of weed and snaps her beak on tiny crabs and shrimps. Turtles have a shell covering their backs and one covering their tummies. The shells are made from bony plates which get bigger and harder as the turtle grows. Turtle swims about, flapping her long front flippers like wings. She is underwater flying. She pokes her pinprick nostrils through the silver surface to take a swift breath. So fast, blink and you'll miss it. Fish breathe underwater, but turtles are reptiles and need to come up to the surface for air. They do this every four to five minutes when they are active. When they are asleep, they can stay underwater for hours. And then she's gone, diving down into her secret life again. For three or four years, maybe more, Turtle rides out the storms and floats through the hot calms. Steadily, she outgrows her nursery. Nobody sees her leave, but when you look for her, she has vanished all the same. A year or two later, she turns up close to land, bigger than a dinner plate now. She's not a fish snack anymore. Her shell is as hard as armour. Her head is tough as a helmet. She's grown into her name, Loggerhead. She has come to eat crabs. Millions swim up from the deep water to breed in the shallows. Their shells crack as easily as hen's eggs in her heavy jaws. But in a week, the feast is over and Loggerhead disappears again. Loggerhead wanders far and wide in search of food. In summer, to cool seaweed jungles, where she finds juicy clams and shoals of shrimps. And in winter, to turquoise lagoons, warm as a bath, where she can munch among corals. Loggerhead may travel thousands of miles, but she leaves no trace or track for you to follow. Only good luck will catch you a glimpse of her. For 30 years, you might not find her. Then one summer night, here she is, on the beach where she was born. She's found her way here, sensing north and south like a compass needle, feeling the current and the warmth of the waves. She remembers the taste of the water here and the sound of the surf. Male turtles wait just off the nesting beaches. They mate with females before they come ashore to lay eggs. Loggerhead has grown in her wandering years. She's as big as a barrow now. Floating in the sea, she weighs nothing, but on land, She's heavier than a man. So every flipper step is a struggle and her eyes stream with salty tears which help keep them free of sand. 
Coming ashore is very risky for sea turtles. They can easily overheat and die. So they only nest at night or in cooler weather. Then they get back to the sea as soon as possible. Loggerhead makes her nest where the sea won't reach. Scooping carefully with her hind flippers, she makes a steep, deep hole. Inside she lays her eggs, like a hundred squidgy ping-pong balls. Afterwards, she covers them with sand to hide her nest from hungry mouths. Then Loggerhead is gone again, back to her secret life. Left behind, under the sand, her eggs stay deep and safe. Baby turtles grow inside. Females stay close to their nesting beach for several months. In that time, they usually make at least four nests, and sometimes as many as ten. Before the summer's over, the little baby turtles wriggle from their shells. Turtle eggs in warm sand can be ready to hatch in six weeks. If the sand is cool, they can take three weeks longer. How many weeks is that all together? Above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch on the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings wait until night. Why do you think they wait until night? They burst through the sand and skeeter towards the sea. The horizon where the sea meets the sky tells baby turtles which way to turn to get to the water. But street lights and buildings next to the beach can confuse them and sometimes they go the wrong way. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws missed just one young turtle. One day she'll remember this beach and come back. But now she dives under the waves and swims, swims and swims out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory waiting to wake in the head of the little turtle. Well, isn't that a, just a wonderful story of life in the ocean for sea turtles? Um, not an easy start, is it, having to try to get down to the water from your nest without getting eaten by some greedy bird? Imagine that. Well, um, great story. I hope you sleep well. Say your prayers, don't forget now. God bless, and I'll see you again tomorrow.